Hello, my name is Alexandra Bliss, and I am the president of General Motors. I am responsible for our uh, company's business operations worldwide, as well as our global product planning department and our new business development sector. Uh, General Motors has recently been made aware of multiple car accidents that occurred in late April and early May 2016 that resulted in 10 tragic fatalities. Uh, it appears that the accidents were caused by brake pad failures uh, in Chevy's Cobalt uh, series from 2009. GM has initiated an investigation that is due to report its initial findings on Monday, May 23rd, 2016. Subject to these findings, we will be in a better position to comment more fully on the situation at hand. Our immediate concerns right now are for the safety and well-being of our customers and the public. We hope to minimize the impact of the current situation by recalling all 2009 Chevy Cobalt models to ensure that they are free of this harmful defect and will no longer endanger the public. We do feel at this stage it would be premature to prejudge the outcome of our investigation. However, we do appreciate the urgency and concerns raised around this matter and will ensure that we do not delay in publishing the findings of our investigation. In the meantime, an apology has been sent to all consumers that have been involved. Um, this apology has been offered by GM's CEO, Mary Barra, who has uh, left a personal phone call to all involved as well as sent out a formal letter. Um, if there are any significant developments, we will keep all interested parties uh, informed via our social media accounts and through media interviews. Uh, in the meantime, if you do have any questions, please contact Alicia Bowler Davis, the Senior Vice President in, in charge of Global Customer Experience. Her telephone number is 866-123-4567, and her email is adavis at gm.com. Thank you. GM Executive Board members and employees, because interviews will be conducted because of the crisis that has occurred in April and May, we need to discuss how we are going to dis um, disclose information to media outlets. Um, when there are difficult questions being asked of you, it's important to uh, answer everything with clear, relevant, and truthful information, and you can do so using bridging statements. Um, the statement, I don't know, is really unclear and can uncut our credibility with our audience. So instead, we need to use um, words and phrases that provide um, the audience with more knowledge and provide you with more control during the media interviews. So the goal of the interview is to focus on sending out messages that are true, accurate, and understandable. Uh, bridging statements allow us to redirect difficult questions to topics that are more important and more relevant to our crisis. Bridging statements can include, the real issue here is, the heart of the matter here is, or let me put things in, uh, in perspective to you by saying. Uh, for example, if you're asked exactly how many Chevy Cobalt models um, are being recalled because of the faulty brake pads and you don't know the answer to this, an example phrase could be, well, here's what I can tell you. The number of vehicles being recalled is unclear at the moment because we are checking on all models that preceded our 2009 make in order to ensure that the public is as safe as possible. Um, we hope that we can confirm the exact number to you within the next couple of days. So overall, just remember to be transparent, be available for your stakeholders and media outlets, and to take responsibility, responsibility from beginning to end of the crisis. Thank you.